In this video, I will demonstrate a machine simulation for sorting bottles based on whether they have caps or not. Bottles with caps will be categorized as OK products, and will go into the green box, while bottles without caps will be considered defects, and will go into the red box. I'm utilizing an OEE monitoring dashboard to control the machine, and track the performance of this machine. This is the OEE dashboard that I frequently use in my previous videos. On this dashboard, when I click the start button, the robot will begin picking up bottles from the supply location to be transported to the sorting machine area. This robot is connected to an Arduino Uno and controlled by Microsoft VBA macros in Excel. After placing the bottles at the inspection location, the robot will return to its initial position, and the machine will inspect the bottles. If a cap is detected, it will be pushed by the cylinder into the green box, if not, it will be pushed into the red box as a defective product. While the machine is operating, the color of the machine on the dashboard is green. If the sensor indicates trouble by turning blinking lamp, signaling an issue, the color of the machine on the dashboard will change to red. When trouble occurs, the robot will also stop. This is because the VBA macro is connected to a database that continuously monitors the machine's status. If the machine is experiencing trouble, the VBA macro will not send commands to the robot to move to the next position. After the machine returns to normal, the dashboard color changes to green, and then the robot will proceed to the next position. Every time the machine produces output, whether it's OK or defective, the dashboard will display a simulation animation of the products exiting through the conveyor. Additionally, on the dashboard, we can view its OEE value and its factors, availability, performance, and quality. When the stop button on the dashboard is pressed, the machine will stop, and its status will change to off. The color of the machine on the dashboard changes to gray. Consequently, the robot will also stop at its initial position until the start button on the machine is pressed again. Let's look at it from a different angle. Begin by pressing the start button on the dashboard, and the machine will start operating. The color of the machine on the dashboard changes to green, and the robot begins picking up materials from the supply position to be transported to the machine. After the bottles are placed in the inspection area, a sensor detects the bottles, and then a cylinder from above will descend to check whether the bottles have caps or not. If a cap is present, the transfer cylinder will push the bottle, and then another cylinder will push the bottle into the green colored box. Let's try a bottle without a cap. For bottles without caps, once the sensor detects the absence of a cap, the bottle will be pushed by the cylinder into the red colored box. On the dashboard, the defective product count will increase, and we can observe a decrease value in the quality graph. I'm using a sensor to trigger trouble conditions. When the trouble sensor is on, indicating that the machine is experiencing trouble, error, or other abnormalities. The tower light will start blinking, and the dashboard will show the machine color changing to red and we can observe a decrease in the availability value.
Thank you for watching. This is a simulation of a simple machine, namely a bottle sorting machine that separates bottles with caps from those without caps. In this simulation, pneumatic cylinders are controlled using Siemens S7 PLC and connected to node red to record OE values. The OE dashboard will display machine animations depicting its current status, whether it's off, operational, or experiencing abnormalities. To transport materials to the machine, I'm using a simple 6DOF robot connected to an Arduino Uno and controlled by VBA macros in Excel using data streamer. This simulation can be used for training on how to record OEE from a machine. It also helps in understanding the connectivity between PLC and Node-RED, as well as Arduino Uno and Microsoft Excel, enabling seamless integration. If you need the code and concepts for implementing OEE, please feel free to contact me via email. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.